Did you know that one in every nine Americans aged 65 and older are living with dementia? However, one-third of the dementia patients in the U.S. are women. Sadly, veteran American comedian Jay Leno has recently had to file for conservatorship over his wife's finances as she has now entered the second stage of her dementia and reportedly can't recognize her husband anymore. But why has the comedian decided to take over responsibility for all of his wife's financial decisions? Stay with us as we dive into all the heartbreaking facts about Mavis Leno's illness and how she and her husband are dealing with this unfortunate situation. I married someone that, that was... You know, I always tell guys when they, they meet a woman, marry your conscience, marry someone who's the person you wish you could be. And it works out okay. Although Mavis and Jay Leno have been through a lot of ups and downs in their 44-year-long marriage, the most tragic event the 74-year-old Jay and the 77-year-old Mavis would face would come in their 44th year of marriage. In early 2024, the Leno family and their legal representatives revealed to the public that Jay's wife, Mavis, was diagnosed with advanced dementia and had been deteriorating mentally for several years, causing her to lose her cognitive capacity and space and time orientation for several years. After Jay Leno applied for conservatorship over his wife's finances following her dementia diagnosis, Weekly obtained court papers that revealed that the veteran comedian intended to set up a living trust for his wife in the event of his death. Unfortunately, Mavis Leno's neurologist, Dr. Hart Cohen, told the press in April 2024 that Mavis had advanced dementia and sometimes struggles to recognize her husband or remember common information like her name or her date of birth. She has a lot of disorientation and will ruminate about her parents who have both passed away about 20 years ago, stated Dr. Cohen. Despite Mavis's cognitive impairment and her inability to recognize her husband at times, court-appointed counsel Ronald Ostrin has stated that Mavis consents to the court's decision to hand over control of her finances to her husband and views Jay as her protector. In an April 2024 court filing, Ronald Osteen was quoted as saying, Mr. and Mrs. Leno have a long-term loving and supportive relationship, maintaining that the burden of Mavis's condition hasn't strained the couple's marriage at all. True to Dr. Cohen's words, Jay Leno and his wife have not allowed her condition to threaten their marriage at all. The couple still lead a normal life despite Mavis's cognitive impairment and their advanced ages. The couple still does things together like regular couples as they were spotted on Tuesday, the 30th of April, 2024 at the premiere of the Netflix show Unfrosted in Hollywood, California. The couple posed for pictures on the red carpet and gladly offered an update on Mavis's health to the press. I feel great, yeah, Mavis told Entertainment Tonight at the event, while Jay added jokingly, I thought I'd come to something fun for a change. Everything is so controversial. Just to come to a funny, silly movie. It's great. I think people will have a great time. Then he stated that he was excited to be joined by his wife at the event, despite the controversy surrounding her condition. Well, we hang out every day. We have a great time. 44 years, so we're doing good, he told the news publication. When asked if his faith and family have helped pull the couple together through the hard times, Jay maintained that they don't look at it as hard times, saying, it's the whole thing. We've been married for 44 years. It gets easier. It doesn't get harder. Although Jay Leno appeared to a Los Angeles County court for conservatorship over his wife's estate and was appointed sole financial control of her finances, the ace comedian is not seeking a conservatorship over Mavis's person. The goal of the conservatorship is so that he can watch over her finances and assets and make sure that there's a trust fund set up for her in case he was to pass on or unable to administer control over her finances due to ill health or an accident, as stated by Mavis's attorney, Ronald Ostrin. No one lives forever, and the actions taken by Mr. Leno are necessary for his and Mavis's protection. Estate planning is something that almost everyone needs, but by the time you need it, if you don't have it, it's too late, the lawyer added. Despite their long and accomplished marriage, a few people were concerned Mavis had given her consent for Jay to take over her financial estate, and if Jay was taking the legal step out of love or just trying to get his hands on his wife's money. Attorney Ronald Osterin came to Jay's defense, stating that Jay Leno was the best candidate for conservatorship over his ill wife. Aside from providing funds for Mavis in the case of Jay Leno's passing, the conservatorship will also provide a trust fund for Mavis's surviving family when she or her husband passes on. 
Jay Leno himself echoes the sentiment by stating, I just set up a will in case something happens. The late night host also doubled down, stating that even while she was healthy, Mavis never directly handled her finances throughout their four decade long marriage, and he's just making duties he's performed for years legal. Jay also stated that he will not only continue to look after Mavis's financial needs, but also her medical needs, and requested that Mavis's brother be named as a benefactor of the trust fund set up for her. However, it isn't all black and white. If Jay is just going to be doing things that he's been handling for his wife for four decades, why then does he have to make it a conservatorship and go through the court system? Well, celebrity attorney Neymar Romani told US Weekly that because Mavis's condition was increasingly declining and she had significant financial assets in her name, she was at risk of being taken advantage of by an unscrupulous individual. And if she did not appoint someone to guard and direct her finances, the court system would have been forced to appoint one for her. And this is where Jay Leno comes in. The lawyer stated that it's better to have someone she trusts, like her husband, presiding over her finances than a random lawyer appointed by the state. Apart from attorney Ronald Ostrin and Jay Leno, the presiding judge also was in support of the decision to grant Jay Leno conservatorship, as she reportedly said that there was a clear and convincing evidence that a conservatorship of the estate is necessary and appropriate because Mavis is unable to independently manage her financial affairs due to dementia through court documents attained by CNN. Jay and Mavis Leno have been married for 44 long years after meeting each other at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles in 1976, when Jay was still an up-and-coming stand-up comedian. At the time, I thought, that comedian is gorgeous. I'd gone to the Comedy Store with my girlfriend because I was writing comedy with some partners. My friends kept saying, you've got to hang out at the Comedy Store and the Improv. You'll meet people who can give you jobs. The first time I went, they sat us front row center, and that means you're this far from the comic. And there was Jay, Mavis told the Los Angeles Times in September 2014. After Mavis got up from her seat to use the restroom, she ran into Jay, and the rest was history. The couple got married just four years later, and Jay has maintained that it's the best decision he's ever made in his life. Jay Leno famously told a young Drew Barrymore in an episode of The Tonight Show, Marry your conscience. Marry the person you wish you could be. That's kind of how you stay married for 44 years. He said to the actress who was about to get married, People say marriage is difficult. I don't get it. I enjoy her company. I enjoy taking care of her. Leno doubled down. Mavis being a hardcore feminist, their courtship and marriage have always been an unconventional one, as Mavis never thought she would ever get married until the comedian popped the question. She was quoted in the Washington Post in 2014, saying, I remember telling my mother when I was about seven or eight that I was never going to get married or have children. To me, this is the way women get caught. In another interview, this time in People magazine, Mavis was quoted saying that her marriage to Jay Leno was the first time I've been with someone where I have a perfect, calm sense of having arrived at my destination, when asked about her marriage to Jay. True to his improv comedian personality, Jay decided to match the unconventional nature of their union a notch when he proposed with an insurance policy instead of a gold or diamond ring like most people would. When asked about the unique proposal by the LA Times in 2014, the comedian replied that although he had an insurance policy that covered him, if something happened to Mavis, she wouldn't be covered by the insurance policy unless they were a legally married couple. And so we might as well get married. Not the most romantic, I know, he said in an interview. However, as unique as proposing with an insurance policy in place of a ring is, this couple's unique choices did not stop there. At the beginning of their marriage, both Jay and Mavis agreed not to have children. In 2025, Mavis and Jay Leno will be celebrating their 45th wedding anniversary, and when asked about the milestone by Fox News in 2024, Jay replied that he hasn't focused much on the big celebration just yet. I haven't thought about that. It'll just be similar to the 43rd or the 45th anniversary celebrations. Although she may not be a huge late night TV star like her comedian husband, Mavis Leno is also beloved by more than a few adoring fans of her own. After making a couple of guest appearances on The Tonight Show on NBC, which was then hosted by her husband for over 17 years between 1992 and 2009, before Conan O'Brien took it over from him. Mavis has a charming and friendly personality 
accentuated by her warm, bright smile. These qualities helped her make an impression on the minds of viewers of The Tonight Show. There were few times she made appearances on the show. Therefore, when news of her dementia reached the public, there was an outpouring of support and prayers for Mavis and Leno from fans of the show, their friends, and other well-wishers. Aside from her appearances on The Tonight Show, Mavis is also renowned for philanthropic work for women's liberation and feminism throughout her life. People Magazine reported that Mavis Leno has been a part of the Feminist Majority Foundation's Board of Directors since 1997. She's also the chairperson of the organization's campaign to stop gender discrimination and gender-based violence in Afghanistan. Due to her illness, Mavis is unable to be as active in the organization's affairs as she used to be. But she continues to lend a voice to the causes she believes in and champions from time to time. Unlike his wife, Jay Leno is not comfortable with sharing the details about his wife's very personal condition as she is. He's largely refrained from speaking too detailed about her diagnosis and how the family is handling it, only speaking about it in a sarcastic tone when asked by interviewers. But Jay has shared an update on his wife's social media that she's being cared for properly and everything is good. Given what we know, one would think that it would be difficult for Mavis and Jay Leno to adjust to living with dementia and living with somebody with dementia respectively, and that their marriage must suffer as a result, especially since the couple has no kids. However, Mavis herself has told Entertainment Today in April 2024 that she and her husband didn't need kids to be a happy couple. We just have each other, she said, as Jay added, every day is a good day. Despite the couple's hopeful resistance in the face of this tragedy, caring for a patient with a terminal illness like dementia is notoriously strenuous and challenging, and Jay has stopped accepting comedy gigs that require him to travel out of the state of California so he can take on the role of full-time caregiver for his wife. In the face of this adversity, Jay Leno has stepped up to become Mavis's strength and courage to go through every day as she battles her illness by showering her with love and attention. Jay is not the only one showering Mavis with love, as fans have been sending their thoughts and prayers to the couple since they found out about Mavis's condition. But despite all his efforts to make her last days memorable for her, the nature of Mavis's illness affects the memory and has proven to be a very big problem for the couple. In his quest to make sure that his wife's last days on Earth are happy, Jay and Mavis face a difficult situation. Although Jay Leno has only been granted a financial conservatorship over his wife's estate by a court, the veteran comedian has also had to take on the role of a personal conservator as his wife's condition deteriorates. Regardless of whatever financial resources are at their disposal, a person with dementia needs emotional and physical care more than anything else. And while it's a good approach, it also poses a huge challenge because dementia is an illness that affects the memory of the patient. It's difficult to watch a partner or family member slip away in their daydreams and begin to lose their basic cognitive abilities, going from forgetting unimportant dates and details to forgetting the names and faces of loved ones. Both the memories shared between the patients and their spouses and family and friends begin to fade away, and the new memories they try to create don't even get a chance to register due to this cruel illness, which ironically requires a lot of moments for building memories to keep the patient healthy and this can become a source of anguish. Jay faces the frustration of trying to create memories with a person who can't even recognize him at times, even after being married for 44 years, as he takes over caregiver duties for Mavis. This can be a very difficult situation to be in. Now, despite these setbacks, Jay Leno remains steadfast and devoted to loving and caring for his wife in her time of need, treating her like every other normal woman amid her deteriorating health and becoming an advocate for protecting her dignity in the public eye. Despite Jay already dealing with Mavis losing her ability to recognize him and becoming fixated on her long-dead parents, and overall subtle personality changes, from a charming, smile-wearing, fun-loving person to becoming cold and obsessed with irrelevant fixations, Jay faces the possibility that the worst is yet to come. Mavis stands a chance of having her memory get even worse, so bad that she might not even be able to remember her name or even recognize her reflection in the mirror. As the disease progresses, she may lose grasp of her motor and language skills. And it gets even worse. As in the final stages of dementia, Mavis may end up losing the ability to move without help and will even struggle to swallow food and water. 
Although most people caring for patients with dementia will treat them like they would treat cancer patients or even worse, send them to a mental institution, Jay has chosen to do the opposite with his wife. The comedian is prepared for the difficult task ahead of him as he commits to taking care of his wife instead of committing her to a nursing home to be cared for by strangers who are only going to care for her as much as they are required to and not from a place of personal love for her. Mavis Leno may not always remember her husband's face, name, or even their shared history together. But Jay cherishes every moment spent with her and still does everything a normal couple would do together with her, even taking her out on date nights from time to time, instead of putting her on permanent bed rest in rooms filled with pills and prescriptions. Since Jay filed for conservatorship over Mavis's estate following her diagnosis, the couple has maintained a low profile from the public eye, but that would soon change when Jay and his wife defied the controversy that followed much of their private lives, making headlines as a result of her diagnosis and conservatorship, and stepped out in paparazzi-infested Hollywood. Their first public sighting was far from a romantic date. The couple attended a court hearing in the Los Angeles County Superior Court together on April 9, 2024, where Jay was officially granted conservatorship of his wife during a hearing at the Los Angeles County Superior Court where Mavis and her lawyer both agreed to grant Jay conservatorship over her finances, and Mavis testified that she was receiving excellent care from her husband. The judge presiding over the case agreed, saying, I think she's in the least restrictive environment. I think she's in very good care with Mr. Leno, before commending Jay for the care that he was providing her and acknowledging that it was a difficult period for the couple. The second time the couple was photographed in public since Mavis's diagnosis became public was on Tuesday, April 30th, 2024. Jay and Mavis Leno were spotted looking happier than ever despite her condition at the Los Angeles premiere of Netflix's Unfrosted and were spotted again by paparazzi at the beginning of the month of May 2024 when Mavis was by her husband's side as she attended his stand-up show at the Hollywood Improv Comedy Club in West Hollywood. On May 14th, the comedian and Mavis attended the Feminist Majority Foundation's 16th Global Women's Rights Awards Gala together to present an award in Mavis's name. During his speech, Jay Leno held back tears as he reflected on his 44-year marriage. I go home every night, make dinner, and sit around. We enjoy each other's company, he said, highlighting their happy marriage. Fans of Jay Leno from his days of hosting The Tonight Show know how openly and loudly he loves his wife. Jay famously said during an appearance on The Kelly Clarkson Show in September 2023, We have a great time. You have to marry a normal person. Guys say to me all the time, I met this girl. She's crazy, but the sex is unbelievable. I go to them. You're right, but when the sex is over, she's still crazy. Now you have 23 hours of crazy until the good crazy hour comes back. Jay has previously joked in an interview with People magazine about his secret to his long-lasting marriage to Mavis in 2019. Not screwing around is a huge key. You can do a lot. You can leave your underwear on the doorknob for the rest of your life if you don't screw around. Even while joking, Jay is a man with a lot of insight into marriage as seen in his marriage lasting 44 years and counting. Jay and Mavis Leno have shared a great part of their life together. And though they face this difficult adversity, their love keeps them going. What are your thoughts on Jay Leno's decision to file for conservatorship over his wife's estate? Do let us know in the comments below.